In Montana's U.S. Senate race, outside groups are producing a number of multiple TV ads going after Democrat incumbent John Tester. MTN chief political reporter Mike Dennison has done some fact checking on this wall of criticism. Which of these has voted against President Trump more than 60% of the time? All of them. The more you learn about the real John Tester, the more you realize he may look like Montana, but he votes like them. That's an ad from the National Republican Senatorial Committee, which works to elect Republicans and defeat Democrats in U.S. Senate races across the country. The theme of these attacks? Democrat Tester is a closet liberal dedicated to opposing President Trump. Tester has opposed the president and the GOP on some key issues. He voted against the Republican tax cut bill last year, against repealing Obamacare, and against Supreme Court nominee Neil Gorsuch. But Congressional Quarterly, which tracks all votes in Congress, says Tester supported the president on 52% of votes where Trump took a position in 2017, more than many other Democrats did. The Trump also has signed into law 18 bills sponsored by Tester. Here's more similar charges. John Tester says he's a Montana moderate, but he turned liberal, voting with Nancy Pelosi for EPA regulations that hurt Montana farmers. Turned liberal with Bernie Sanders, voting to put illegal aliens over sick kids in Montana. That's from the Senate Reform Fund, a group yet to report the source of its $1.4 million in spending against Tester this summer. Tester did vote in 2015 and 2016 against lifting a new rule regulating water that many in agriculture opposed. The vote with Sanders was against a short-term budget deal this January that Tester said he opposed because a long-term fix was needed. And then there's this ad from the Club for Growth, a group big on tax cuts and less government. Tester promised not to take any lobbyist gifts or special interest paid travel, but Tester broke his promise and accepted expensive international travel, including a trip to Cancun. That Cancun trip? Tester and his wife went there on vacation in 2015 with fellow U.S. Senator Claire McCaskill, who invited them and paid for the trip. As for international travel, Tester did go to Israel in 2013 on a fact-finding mission, funded by a pro-Israel nonprofit group that has hosted numerous members of Congress. You'll be hearing this theme often. Tester, the liberal turncoat who can't be trusted. We'll be doing what we can this campaign season to report on his actual record, and you can decide for yourself how much of these charges are true, an exaggeration, or just plain false. Reporting from Helena, Mike Dennison, MTN News. Thanks, Mike. And you can see Mike Dennison's detailed analysis of these ads on our website, ktvq.com.